Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial showing you guys how to export your UV maps to an external Im image manipulation software. In this case, I'm going to be demonstrating with GIMP, but you can see inside of GIMP here is our UV layout. You can do the same thing with Photoshop, all sorts of different um, Adobe products. The idea here is just to get your maps exported and then you can paint in an external software. Now you might be thinking, why would I want to do this when I could just paint inside of Blender? And in this case, with this simple example I'm doing, it is kind of pointless, but there are going to be times where you really could benefit in certain situations of taking your UV maps and exporting them. Um, I'm not going to get into all the details of that, but for example, you might want somebody who's a 2D artist to do some decals and they're more comfortable in their program. There are certain situations where you might want to do something like that and that's why I'm covering this. But I've said enough, let's quickly jump into it. It's very simple to export UV layouts. So the new scene opened up in Blender. Let's go ahead and just select everything. You can use the default cube if you want. I just prefer to go Shift A and add in the Suzanne monkey head. Just because it's cooler, I think, to work with. Now that we have that, let's go over to our UV editing workspace. And this already comes UV unwrapped for us because it's a default object in Blender. As you can see here are some neat UV coordinates already done for you. This is not a UV unwrapping tutorial. This is just UV exports. So this is why we're using one that's already UV unwrapped. So what you're gonna do, once you're in the UV editing workspace, you can actually see your UV layout here. All you have to do is go up to this little button here called UV and all the way down to the very bottom, you're gonna see export UV layout. It really is that simple. You're gonna to go to your desktop or wherever you want to. And by default, it's called Suzanne. What I'm gonna do just for organizational purposes, I'm gonna go Suzanne underscore and then UV. Just so I know it's the UV map and I'm gonna go export UV layout. And now I have it exported to my desktop. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna go ahead and open up GIMP or Photoshop. Um, I have both, but I'm gonna be using GIMP because I know it's a free software and some of you might not have access to Photoshop. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just take it and drag it into GIMP or Photoshop, whatever you're working with. And you're gonna see it comes with an alpha transparency. So now all you have to do is create another layer in whatever software you're working on. And that layer you can place underneath the Suzanne UV over here. So for example, let's take this layer here and let's go ahead and maybe make it like a greenish kind of color with the paint bucket tool. And then we can get something like a paintbrush. I'm only demonstrating here and maybe make it a darker shade. And now you can actually see your UV layouts and that kind of gives you the ability then to come here and do some painting. So over here, I might want to add some eyebrows like so. And then I want to come over here and do a mustache. And this is just a very primitive example. In real life, you would just paint something this simple in Blender itself. But there are going to be times where there would be a legitimately good reason to try and hand it over to another department to do the 2D work in another program that's not Blender. I'm not going to get into that at the moment. This is just showing you an example. So once you have this done, you can come over here, turn off the UV layer. You can do the exact same thing in Photoshop and then you can go file, you can go export as, and let's take it to our desktop. But this time we're gonna do Suzanne underscore color. And then we're gonna go ahead and export. Now, if you go back in to Blender, you can now take your object, you can go over to your material properties, go new to give it a material, and then come over to the base color, give it an image texture, click on open, and then you can go to wherever you save that Suzanne underscore color, click on it, and then go open image. Now, if you come over here in your viewport and you go Z and you go material preview, you can actually see we have the material applied. Let's right click, go shade smooth and give it a subdivision surface modifier. And now you have done your first ever UV export and painting in an external program like GIMP in this case. So this might seem like a pointless tutorial. Um, why would you want to do this when you can do it in Blender? But there are a lot of good reasons where you could do this. Sometimes um, you might want to hand something over to a 2D artist to do some sort of custom painting for you and they are more comfortable in their software. Sometimes you can do little elements that you can drag onto it that would be easier to do in something like Photoshop where you can line that up um, little by little and then see what it looks like in Blender. Um, there are a lot of different reasons, but this is kind of just an introduction to something like this, and maybe it gives you an idea for a future project. So I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you enjoyed this little Blender quick tip.